new tropical cyclone is trying to form in the Gulf of Mexico, in the western side of the Gulf of Mexico, nearby the state of Tamaulipas, practically in the same location where Tropical Storm Alberto was located quite a few days ago. Right now it's a tropical disturbance positioned at 20, uh, 21.2 degrees north, 95.9 degrees west and as you can see in the, on the satellite animation it already has a rotation, not really a defined well rotation to be classified as a tropical cyclone but it's expected to gain more organization and maybe uh, stalling a little bit in the, in the same location before actually moving to the to the west or to the northwest and moving inland in Tamaulipas so it has a room possibly to become a tropical storm or a tropical depression before it makes landfall in Tamaulipas right now the conditions of this system it's 35 miles per hour sustained winds with a pressure of 1005 millibars moving to the northwest at 10 miles per hour approximately this is at 9.30 hours local time in Tamaulipas, 15.30 hours in the Universal Central Time at June 22nd. A closer view of how is looking uh, this disturbance, the clouds or the rain clouds are actually arriving in both states of Tamaulipas and in Nuevo León as well. So uh, those states are going to receive some kind of rain possibly thunderstorm activity as well during the weekend and uh, or at least in this couple of, of coming days and of course the storm trying to get more and more organized you can see the rotation there not really a defined well uh, well defined rotation yet possibly a recon is going to fly through the storm to determine if this actually is going to be classified as a tropical depression or a tropical storm this is the animation of the possible rainfall accumulation and, and at every hour and you can see that actually some high rain uh, rainfall activity is actually arriving in the city of Tamaulipas nearby the, the cities of Tampico and arriving as well Ciudad Mante and more to the west Ciudad Victoria as well in Tamaulipas and the radar shows you a more clear view of how the rain is moving inland in the state of Tamaulipas and as well arriving to the state of Nuevo León so those rainfall conditions are going to continue or to persist during the weekend possibly in the first days of the next week as well depending on how good the system gets organized and how it moves inland and if and of course um, all the outflow and all the humidity that is bringing is actually very welcoming here in the in the northeastern part of Mexico since there has been a severe drought in the past three years. The sea surface temperatures, 90 sorry, 29.5 degrees to 30 degrees Celsius approximately. The the sea surface temperatures where the system is currently located, so practically has a very good uh, conditions in the in the ocean to absorb and to and to get uh, powerful with the with the heat of the Gulf of Mexico. Of course, it's it's really good conditions for the tropical cyclone to form or even to intensify quite quickly. The wind shear is quite moderate, uh, quite high in the western side of the of the storm, but not really affecting the circulation right now, where the wind shear is actually quite low, almost not existent. So it has the conditions actually to become a tropical cyclone, depending just how. Uh, fast and moves uh, closer to land because the, the proximity to land it's going to be a, a crucial thing to, to take note in the formation of, of this system if it happens. And the future of this system according to the GFS model this, uh, this model is predicting that it will make landfall in the next 48 hours so it actually is going to stall a little bit in the, in the western side of the Gulf of Mexico and that uh, room in the, in the Gulf of Mexico, that period of time staying out of, uh, of land will be crucial to determine if this system will get as a tropical storm or a tropical cyclone according to the GFS it could reach tropical storm status as it moves slowly to the west and uh, north to the northwest in landing Tamaulipas so it's going to be a quite interesting scenario to see 
a lot of rain is going to fall in the state of Tamaulipas and in Nuevo León as well and many other parts in the states in the center part of, the, uh, of Mexico. And the 92L, the Invest 92L was almost very close to form. According to us, it actually uh, managed to, uh, to reach tropical depression status, but well, the NHC uh, says the opposite or believes another, another thing. But well, so if in this case this tropical disturbance form, and if it gets tropical storm status, it's going, it's going to be named burial. And about the different model projections or forecasts, you can see that actually they are agreed that it's going to become a tropical storm, possibly by today or in the next day early, and then moving inland uh, soon afterwards and dissipating on the June 24th. The wind, shear are the, the wind shear is decreasing substantially, so the conditions are getting better and better for this system to form in the next couple of day, in the couple of hours, or well, not couple of hours, but in the next hours, on the uh, on this weekend. And then the sea surface temperatures, 29 to 30 Celsius. The humidity very high as well, up to 80 percent. So it has a very good. Con Practically, this system has everything to become a tropical cyclone, but depends uh, a lot of how fast it's moving and the proximity to land so far. And this is the current presentation, uh, another floater with the, with the current uh, like looking of the system. You can see the rotation. It's trying to get better. It's there, but not really organized or well organized enough to be classified as a tropical cyclone. And all the rain bands are uh, literally in the north in the northern quadrants of the storm. So it's going to be quite a few hours to see if actually this system could generate some uh, some blobs in the center and, and trying to develop um, some convection to be more organized and be classified as a tropical cyclone. That's the update of today's uh, uh, of today's 93L system, and let's see what happens in the future. So stay tuned here in Force 13 in our social media. Become an ultimate fan today.